Okay, good day, viewers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you. In fact, you are the reason why I'm doing this. You're my motivation, you're my inspiration. I appreciate you. Thanks. In my, in my first uh, class, I taught on electrostatics and from there link to capacitance for capacitor. That is the first concept. And there I stopped right here, which reason because I don't want plenty videos so that we can easily dissect what I'm dishing out here. So in today's class, I still want to continue from where I stopped. Now, I told you that parallel arrangement, which is the first arrangement of capacitance of a capacitor, where you have the same voltage across each capacitor, but different charges. Now, look up. Here, we have V. Hmm? How am I going to put this so that you understand better? Let me just put it here. We have V here. You understand? There is V here. Huh? So, now, or let me put the arrow like this so that we get it better. But because of this V, put it this way. There is V here. Remove this if there is need. I remove this too. Here is C1, C2, C3. And what does this C stands for? It stands for what? Capacitance. It stands for capacitor. Did you understand? Q is equal to, based on what we have here, Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Did you get? But Q is equal to CV. What is Q? Quantity of electricity. C, capacitor. V, potential difference. Or you call it volts. Huh? Since Q is equal to CV, what do you do? Q equals to C, V, C1, V, plus C2, V, plus C3, V. But since you have V here, what do you do? Q is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Either you put the V here, or you put it here, but it's better you put the V here. Now, in case you don't understand what I did here, I factorize. I factorize. The common factor here it is, is V. V times C1 will give us C1V. V times C2 will give us C2V. V times C3, that is plus C3, will give us plus C3V. Uh, now, let me walk over here. Now, over here, let me repeat this question here. V bracket C1 plus C2 plus C3. Do you get that? So, this CV equals to V bracket C1 plus C2 plus C3. Now, this V, we cancel out. We have C is equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3. We can call this CT, that is C total. So, for parallel arrangement, for parallel arrangement in capacitor or in capacitor of a capacitance, hmm? it is C1 plus C2. Now, don't get it twisted. In normal electricity, in normal electricity, that is when it, when it has to do it, that is when it has to do with Ohm's law. Parallel arrangement looks like the serial one in capacitance. Why the serial one in capacitance? I don't want to confuse you. Now look up. In electricity that has to do with ohms, this is capacitor. Eh? Parallel. 
series. Uh, capacitor it is C equals to CT equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Uh, you understand now? Series is equals to is equals to one over one over C T, which is one over C one plus one over C two plus one over C three. Now, in electricity, which involves ohms, parallel is. 1 over R equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Now, for series, it's going to be RT equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. I look at this thing very well. I don't want you to get it twisted. I don't want, you, I don't want it to confuse you. Why I wrote this on the board is to enable you come to balance so that you have a balanced perspective of capacitance of a capacitor capacitance of a capacitor you do understand so that is that mind you i just i've shown you the the steps to parallel arrangement i haven't done the same for series under capacitance of a capacitor now watch me as i go for series don't slide don't just keep the video keep watching now look at this thing very well hope you have seen it i want to clean Good day, viewers. Thanks for watching. This is Make Me's channel for physics. So, this is the home of physics. In this place, you attain peak excellence at physics. This channel will enable you to be at your absolute best. So, if you desire, if you desire to perform excellently, in any external exam, even in your school exam, any external exam, no matter the, the, the no matter the, the toughness of the exam, this channel is for you. Just subscribe, give my video thumbs up, share the link, drop any question you have below in the comment section, and trust me, I'm going to respond. Thank you. I'm still on capacitor. Now I want to tell you about serial arrangement. That is arrangement in series. Series arrangement. Now, series arrangement, this is when capacitors connected in series across a PD, that is votes. That is V. Huh? The Q is the same, but different voltage. What did I say? When capacitors, for instance, C1, C2, C3 are connected in series, across a b d that is v the charge it is same but different voltage huh the charge is the same but different voltage having seen that let me clean as you can see, 
my board is not that wide, so I'm trying to manage the space. That is why I am cleaning it. So now, look at this. C1, C2, C3. The, 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 the charge is the same, but different voltage. Huh? That is why they, uh, they said across different PD. Good. So what does that? It means V is equal to what? V1 plus V2 plus V3. But Q is equal to CV. When you make V subject of formula, that means you divide both sides by C. When you divide both sides by C, you're going to have V is equal to Q over C. What do I mean? Q equals to CV. We divide both sides by C. To make V, to make this subject of formula, it's going to, it's going to be Q is equals to CV over C over C. This cancel this. V is equals to Q over C. I believe you understand that. You understood it. Good. Okay. Now, since we've established this fact, V is equal to equal to what? Anywhere I see V, I represent it with Q over C. But in that case, it's going to be Q over C1. Q over C1 plus Q over C2 because we are told that the Q is, is the same plus Q over C3. What do we do? What do we do? Here, also note that this V is also equal to Q over C. Now it's called it CT. And this equals to Q over C1 plus Q over C2 plus Q over C3. Now, I want to repeat the question over here. Q over CT equals to Q over C1 plus Q over C2 plus Q over C3. What do I do? Multiply by 1 over Q. But before I do that, I need to factor out Q because Q is common here. Before I multiply through, Q over CT is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. All in brackets times Q. Huh? Because Q times 1, Q. Q over C1. Q times 1 here, Q over C2. Q times 1 here, Q over C3. You get Q over C3. So here, here, we are still here. I factor, I factor it out. Then that is when I will, I, I will, I will apply this. So I apply this now. 1 over Q times Q over CT equal to bracket 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. 
q times 1 over q. Hope you know that this q here means over 1. I believe you are aware of that fact. Now, this we can out here, and this we can out here. So we have 1 over ct equal to 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3. T1 over C and that is T infinity. Likewise, parallel arrangement. Uh, so have you seen that the this one now, capacitance of a capacitor in series, uh, it is reciprocal of the individual world capacitors. Why a parallel is is, is opposite to this. Eh? It's opposite to this. Now that you've understood the concept of capacitance for capacitor, so you need to follow me. How do you follow me? Subscribe to my channel. Give my video thumbs up. Share the link across social media. That's the best way to follow. According to my smooth of blessed memory, he said the leaders are those who turn their followers to leaders and make those leaders agent change, agent of change. So you're not just following me for the sake of passing your exam or knowing it. When you follow me, you will still know it better than I do. You will learn and be more intelligent than the teacher teaching you right now. Eh? You know it for good. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your thumbs up. I appreciate you. See you in my next video. Thanks.